How's it going guys? This is Dave XP and on this tutorial we're going to be looking at one way of creating a nice depth of field effect. So here we go. Okay, so before we start it's very important to know that we can only apply this effect to one layer at a time. So what I usually do is that I take all of my layers and duplicate them to merge them down into just one final image. So this is the one that's going to work as the clean version of our drawing. So we're just going to duplicate it and apply the effect to the new one. So now we can go to Filter, Blur and Lens Blur. Okay, so here I usually don't play much with these settings, but I do like to use the radius to about 15 most of the times. Now for the next step, we're gonna be using the Eraser tool. And what we're looking for is to make a subtle transition between the blur and the clean version. So we're gonna pick one of the biggest soft brushes for the eraser. And I usually start with the opacity of the brush to 100%. Now, the whole idea here is to erase the main focal point. So you want to erase the areas where you want the drawing to be clean and sharp. Okay, for the second part of the, of the process, I like to keep erasing, but on a more subtle way. So I'm going to switch to a smaller size for the brush and just change the opacity to about 40%. And here I'm, I'm not erasing the main focal points like we did before, but just the ones that are kind of in the middle. So here I'm not erasing all the way, but just 40% of the image. Now you can keep switching the size of the brush depending on what area are you working on. So for example, with the hair, it made sense for me to use a smaller brush, but for this part of the body, uh, it made sense to use a bigger one. And again, you can just keep trying stuff uh, by, by changing the size of the brush or the level of opacity. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process. Uh, it's the quickest way I know of creating this effect. And I use this all the time at the end of my drawings because I, I just feel like it gives this nice illusion of volume. It just makes the characters feel like they exist on a three-dimensional space. So that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you learned something. And don't forget to leave any questions if you have any. And I'll be seeing you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.